What's going on, IGTV peeps? We are back with another awful Sunday Advanced Med Conference to try. This one, kettlebells only. You can sub with dumbbells if that's all you have, but it does work a little bit better if you have kettlebell access. The setup is this. We're going with six, looks like six, movement patterns. 60 seconds is a work, 30 seconds you guys will chill, but we'll cycle through this circuit style for four total rounds. Now again, this is a lot of volume, so pick a weight, obviously you can handle, and then just slow things down. You don't have to try to speed through the reps in a minute. A minute becomes an eternity real quick, especially when fatigue starts to set in. We're gonna start off with the kettlebell goblet squat. Again, you guys are gonna pack it nice and tight to the chest. Your normal squat, push it to the heel, back straight chest out. Full range of motion for all 60 seconds. From there, we're gonna go with the kettlebell palm press. Now, depending on what loads you guys have access to. Now, palm press, like just, again, just palm it nice and flat, right in between where the belt inserts. Again, if you guys are worried about hitting your face, just keep a hand here just in case. And again, err on the side of caution, pick something light when you start. Again, all we're doing is just overhead pressing for a full 60 seconds. My offhand, I usually like to reach and offset it or put it on the hip for a little bit of counterbalance, especially if you guys do pick a load that's a little bit heavier. Once all 60 seconds are on the right, do the same exact pattern on the left side. From there, the kettlebell gorilla rows. I set them up just inside my foot stance. And again, you guys, little, almost like semi-squat kind of hip hinge, almost like that short stop stance. And I go a little bit deeper, depending on the range of motion. We're gonna alternate these for 60 seconds. So I'm gonna hold one in place, full row, and just take one and replace one, whatever speed you can handle for the full minute. Once that's done, kettlebell swings. Again, we, we've been through it before, soft, knees, hip, and ankles. It's just a, it's a hip thrust. That's what we're talking about. When you guys swing, we're driving the ass and butt back as far towards that wall as we can, and we're just thrusting, swinging forward. In terms of bell distance, I don't care how high it goes. If you guys pick up something like 100 pounds, if it's about to waist level, mid chest level is fine, if it's lighter, you guys can let that thing swing. But it's just a posterior chain movement. So the entire backside is how we're swinging. And you guys are snapping the hips forward. So when that bell's back, your hips are back. When that bell comes forward, those hips come forward. This is how we're driving the swing. Once the minute's done, you guys can go to the kettlebell push-ups. Again, any distance is fine. I like neutral grip. You guys can go underhand, overhand, make it as sexy as you want. And then any of these gets real rough. In a perfect world, when you guys press down, it's full range of motion, a little deep stretch, extend up top, nice deep stretch at the bottom. And then again, relaxing, doing what you can handle in a minute. If it gets tough, just hang on an extension. It'll be a little bit easier for you. That would be one cycle. We're gonna go through four total rounds. 60 on, 30 off for the four sets. Tag a buddy, tag me, have fun.